to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in for another video. Today is a very exciting day. I have some new products to try and test out for you guys and to let you know if I like them, if I don't like them. Just my honest opinion, honest reaction. I've known about this brand for some time, but I just never got around to trying any of their products before. So here we are today and I got my hands on products. And the name of the brand, the name of the company is called Madam by Madam CJ Walker. And she has a whole line of products, but I didn't need all of the products. I just only picked up what I thought would work for me. So I picked up about three products. So of course I got a shampoo, conditioner, and a styling product. And I'll show you those products here in just a second. But for those who don't know about Madam CJ Walker, which you should, if you know anything about history, you should. But just in case there's somebody watching that doesn't know anything about who Madam CJ Walker is, let me just give you just a brief and then we'll get into these products and give you my thorough review. Madam CJ Walker was the first self-made female millionaire and the founder of her own beauty empire. She was an entrepreneur, a philanthropist, political and social activist, basically a beauty icon, a beauty beast, and a beauty boss. She redefined hair care, taught us how to secure our strands and charted her own path forward while creating opportunities for herself and her fellow black women. Madam CJ Walker created her own lane, gave us what was supposed to be given, and because of that, she is respectfully Madam. So today I'm introducing to you for the first time on my channel, Madam by Madam CJ Walker. So definitely keep watching because we're gonna get into these products and then we're gonna do a nice little wash and go. So before I get into the products that I purchased, let me just share with you a little bit of background of this line. So first of all, this line, you can purchase the whole line at your local Walmart, the entire line. This is also a scalp to strand hair care line. And that just simply means that the focus is not only just the hair, but the focus is also on the scalp as well, which is very important and very crucial to your overall hair care. For all you naturals that care, this line is free from parabens, silicones, drawn alcohols, mineral oils, and sulfates. And these products work best for curly hair, straight hair, and protective styles. So I purchased the shampoo, the deep conditioner, and a styling gel. So the first item is the Revive and Reset Shampoo. It comes in a 12 ounce fluid bottle with a pump. And this shampoo claims to give you a gentle cleanse for your hair and scalp while removing buildup without stripping any essential moisture. As you can see, this shampoo has a thick, creamy type of consistency. I thoroughly enjoy a thick, consistency of a shampoo as opposed to a thinner consistency. It just works better for my low porosity hair. So I think I'm gonna really love this shampoo. I also got her Instant Repair Deep Conditioner. This comes in a 10 ounce jar. And I do wanna point out that this is a protein-based deep conditioner. This deep conditioner is intended to fortify, repair, and strengthen your hair and instantly reduce breakage. And as you can see, the consistency and texture of this deep conditioner is pretty thick. It's thick, it's creamy, it's everything I think my hair is gonna love. I love a good, thick, creamy uh, deep conditioner. I don't like the thin, watered down stuff. I like thick, creamy, something that's gonna stick to my strands. And I'm thinking I'm gonna really love this because it's got that consistency that I look for. And for my styler, I got the Humidity Shield Styling Gel. This is for curly styles. And this styling gel is intended to lock out humidity. It has a flexible hole that defines curls without all the flaking, crunching, or weighing down your hair. So this gel is pretty jelly. You can see it's shaking around in the jar. This gel kind of reminds me more of a custard. Um, so I'm not really sure if it's gonna really hold the roots of my curls down. I know it's not going to slick my hair down completely. I do like my curls to kind of pop up at the ends, but I do like the roots to lay. And just looking at the consistency of this, I don't know if it's gonna do that. So I might have to get really heavy handed with this gel, um, but we'll see. But let's go ahead and get into these products. I cannot wait to try these. So I can share with you guys my overall thought and opinion about these products. Plus my hair looks a mess. <laughs> it feels a mess, it's dry. And I don't want to take it down right now. Well, let me go ahead. I'm, I'm not shame. I'm not shame. I'm going to take it down. I'm not shame. I'm not ashamed at all. See? It's dry. And y'all see all my grays. I'm not shame. I should be, but I'm not.
So this is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed my nice little wash and go. This is a slick back style. This is my go-to uh, because my hair is short. So this is really all I can rock. Now I could have put a side part, but I just want to slick it all back. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. So let me get into these products and just tell you my final thoughts of each of the products that I used. So starting with the shampoo, I really love this shampoo and I knew I was gonna love this shampoo because it's thick and it's creamy and it's very rich. It's also very penetrating and it works really great if you have low porosity hair. As soon as I applied it to my hair, I could immediately feel the softness and it just absorbed into my hair and just really penetrating my hair strands. And I just really love when a shampoo softens my hair. It was very cleansing, a nice gentle cleanse, very moisturizing. It did not strip my hair when I washed it out and it washed out with ease. So I really love this shampoo and I will definitely continue to use it. And this is one that I will definitely go back to to repurchase. So again, I really love the shampoo. It just did a really great job on my hair. Not a whole lot to say about it. Again, just moisturizing, non-stripping, and just a rich creamy lather that made my hair feel really soft and smooth, especially after washing it out. So it's a thumbs up for me. On to the deep conditioner. The deep conditioner also is a win-win in my book. I really love how it left my hair feeling very soft, and strong. It didn't feel stripped of any uh, moisture at all, just like with the shampoo. It just made my hair feel really good. And what I also liked about this deep conditioner is I noticed it started to really bring my curls to life and my curls were starting to form um, as I was working the conditioner in my hair. And I just let it sit for about 15 minutes. It says up to 30. Um, I did 15. Um, but this is a conditioner I definitely love and I will use it again. Now I can't, of course, use it as often as I would like because it is a protein and I don't want protein overload. But this is definitely a deep conditioner I would recommend and I would definitely repurchase. Again, it's just a very thick, creamy uh, consistency and texture and I just really love a thick, deep conditioner anyway. Very buttery type of a um, consistency or texture. So this is one I will definitely continue to use. And plus when I washed it out, my hair still felt very super soft and smooth. Lastly is the gel. I really love this gel. Now it says this is a humidity shield styling gel. The humidity here hasn't really hit yet. So I can't really say if this is gonna work really great against humidity until the humidity actually hits. But for now, it works really good. It slicked back my hair, it slicked my roots is what I was really looking for because I kind of like a little curl poppage, you know, because my hair is short, but I like for it to lay down the roots and it did just that. And I didn't really have to be as heavy handed as I thought. Um, I did go in maybe two, three times uh, to slick it down, um, which is actually good. So I didn't have to go in like 10 times <laughs> to try to really layer this product. So it laid my hair down really good. Applying it, it felt again like a custard, but it laid it down like a nice strong holding gel. This gel gives you a flexible hold. It gives you a soft, flexible hold. When I used this product previously, I did not get any flaking. I did not see any flakes in my hair, which is a bonus. That's a plus with any type of gel if you don't get that flaking uh, in your hair. So it's just a really great styling gel. Like there's not a really, there's not a lot really I can say about it. Um, it's just a really great gel. It's one that I would definitely pick up if I need a gel, a styler. This is one I would definitely pick up. So, you know, again, a win. Um, so all of these products are really good. You know, I haven't tried the full line of course, but you can definitely check out uh, the full line at Walmart, you can kind of browse and see what products will work for you. If you have braids, protective styles, or you know, whatever your curl type is, curl pattern, your porosity, uh, there's definitely something I'm sure you will find in the line that you can use that will benefit your hair and just your overall hair uh, health. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me show you these products and just my reaction and my thoughts. I love each of the products that I've used and I do recommend this brand. I do recommend the products that I've tried in this video and I would definitely be looking forward to trying some other products in their line. So again, if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Oh yeah, and today is my birthday, so happy birthday to me! Yay! <laughs> I am 43 years old. Who would think I am 43 years old? But I am 43 and uh, looking fine, I might add. <laughs> Bye guys.